YouTube, it's Kiara, and as a part of Fresh Beat Month, I decided to do a video for all my naturals out there who are going to an HBCU in the fall and have no idea how to manage their hair in college. Cause like, you're at home, you can do whatever you want to your hair. When you get to college, like you have to, you have to like code switch how you take care of your hair. And as you can see, my hair isn't really curly today cause I'm probably straightening it tomorrow. Just I feel like it but I have my five little tips well it's supposed to be five but I'll probably talk a lot so it'll probably turn into like eight we'll try and keep it at six so if you're not subscribed to me already go ahead and subscribe hit that notification bell because I post a lot and if you're not subscribed to the fresh meat playlist what are you doing make sure you watch all the videos and I also have the other cool team members down below who are uploading videos up throughout the month of April for HBCU 21. And whoever else watches this video, they need some insight on college. And without further ado, we're gonna start. Tip number one, make a schedule for your hair. After you get your class schedule set up, make sure that you also create a hair schedule. And by a hair schedule, I mean like, set aside time to do your hair. I do my hair three days out of the week. Um, I usually do it on Sunday nights, Tuesday nights, and uh, Thursday nights. Or like I'll shift those days if I have to. Tuesday nights I'll deep condition. Tuesday nights I'll do some type of protective style because the the wash and go from Sunday night is worn out. And then like Thursday night I'll do a what do I, I usually do another wash and go, or I'll pick it out like this and wear it. Tip number two. Don't buy every hair product you see when you go out to shop. You don't have enough space, and you're a college student. You can't just be out here blowing money. I mean, if you got it like that, go ahead, but I don't have it like that. I have to learn how to shop with what I have. And if you are gonna shop for hair products once you get to campus, find a Marshalls, a TJ Maxx, a Ross, cause they love to sell natural hair care products in their little cosmetic section and not tell nobody and like, Hair products that usually cost fifteen dollars will be six. So visit one of those shops and spend your money wise. Tip number three: have a go-to hairstyle just in case you wake up one day like maybe almost late for class, late for class, or just not feeling your hair. Like me, I'll usually rock a, I'll rock a puff, I'll wear wrap, or I'll wear a hat. A puff, a wrap, or a hat. A puff, a wrap, or a hat. That's my go-to style. Or I'll just pick it out and be like, you know what? I'm gonna be free today. But it's usually too hot outside for that. I don't like that. Tip number four, set aside space for your hair care products. You don't want them thrown all around your room, even though that's how mine is right now. I have my spray bottle right here on top of my fridge. I have my gel over here on top of my heater. On top of my brush, on top of my microwave. But that's just because I I was I was frantic this morning. I showed you guys this bag on what's in my natural hair bag video. It's it's a tote bag. I got it when I bought my suitcase luggage. But it has all my hair care products for the most part inside of it. Um I've updated my products since then. If you guys would like a what's in my natural hair bag part two video, tell me in the comments or answer the poll. I don't know where it'll be. Maybe oh, one of these sides. It's a little doll come out and it'll be like do you want to sit pull? Yeah, click that. I have a huge tote, but I know some people have caddies, like shower caddies, but like they use it for their natural hair. And some people just like use one of their drawers in their closets. It's all up to you. Just make sure you set aside space because if you don't, you're going to regret it when you're looking for your edge brush and you can't find it. I'm going to use my toothbrush for my edges on my teeth. That one's good. And last but not least, tip number five. Don't be afraid to ask Twitter, group me, group chats, whatever for help. If you're attending an HBCU, there's a huge chance that you are attending along with other naturals who know how to take care of their hair. Not saying you don't know how to take care of your hair, but if you have, um, if you need assistance, like when my hair was frizzing a lot, I asked in the group chat how to stop frizzing. Um, when I took my braids out, my hair shedded a lot. So I was asking them how to stop shedding. Um, everybody is so helpful when it comes to taking care of your natural hair and so you shouldn't be afraid to reach out to other people and maybe somebody will come to you and ask yeah i stuck to my five and then go to 18. <laughs> got it um forgot something you 
are someone who deep conditions or you plan on deep conditioning, invest in plastic shower caps because I came here with none and then I started deep conditioning and I'm, I still go to my friend I'm like, hey, so uh, do you have any shower caps? And she's like, yeah. I know she gets tired of me asking, but the year's almost over, so there's no point in me buying it, right? Okay. No? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, so I didn't stick to my five. I went to six, but that's okay. That's the end of this video on how to take care of your natural hair in college. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Hopefully, you already did. If you're not subscribed to me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell because I post a lot. Leave any questions or comments that you have down below and don't forget to check out all the other YouTubers because they're pretty freaking awesome. So, thanks for spending time with Key. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!